Okay, today I'd like to tell you the differences of the bond key plates. There are three different sets of bond key plates, and each set are slightly different to each other. There is the original set of key plates here, the new dot key plates here, and the ISM dot key plates here. When the bond first came out in the early 1980s, the blue bond that had the handle that sat on top of the key plate, you had your clear key plates and they were numbered 1, 2, 3 and 4. Well a few years later when the Bond Classic came out you had the new key plates and these were available as an extra, they didn't come with the Bond Classic. The Bond Classic came with these key plates, the original ones. Um, the dot key plates were dot 1, dot 2, dot 3 and dot 4 and they are slightly different to the original key plates um, the new dot 1 knits at the same tension as the old key plate number 2 dot 2 knits halfway between the old 2 and 3 but this has a reverse side so that's dot 2 and a half so that's two extra sizes. Dot 3 is the same as the old 3 but this also has a reverse side. And Dot 4 is the same as the old 4, exactly the same. So with the dot key plates you get three extra sizes because you have the new number 2 and the half size on the number 2. And you have the half size on the key plate 3. So there's your three extra sizes. Um, when the ISM came out, which um, I think it was the same time as the Bond Classic, the ISM and the Bond Classic were exactly the same machine, except the Bond Classic was a full bed. The sweater machine um, went into two pieces that you bolted together. But the sweater machine came with the dot key plates as well, but these were clear the clear dot key plates. Um, they're exactly the same as the green dot key plates except the clear dot 2 and the clear dot 3 doesn't have a reverse side that the green dot 2 and 3 does. So each one of these clear dot key plates knits exactly the same tension as these green dot key plates except, like I said, they don't have the reverse sides. So, that was it, really. And they do have the bounce bars on them, as you can see. The ISM key plates had them on number 2, number 3, and number 4. And the green dot key plates also had them on number 2, number 3, and number 4. And they did have them on the reverse side as well. Um, which the old key plates didn't have, as you can see. Um, they didn't put the bounce bars on key plate 1 for the ISM or key plate 1 for the green dot key plate. Um, all the bounce bars were for was to stop the needles from jumping forward when you knit too fast. And I'm not exactly sure of this, but I think they brought the Bond Classic out because they introduced these new key plates. Because dot 2 and 3 are double-sided, they don't fit properly in the old Bond carriage. Well, they fit like properly there, but as soon as you try and put the handle on, you see it sits, it stands up at one side. It doesn't sit properly on the key plate. So the Bond Classic and the Incredible Sweater Machine um, had a folding handle like this. And you put the key plate in and close the handle on the top like that. 
so these gear plates fit in them the um, ISM and Bond Classic and of course they work in the USM carriage because the USM comes with these key plates but anyway hopefully I haven't, I haven't confused anyone but those are the differences between the three different types of key plates that Bond produced so hopefully some of you might have found this video helpful um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.